Okay, so here we have the Usborne Timelines of World History from the Stone Age to the Millennium. Simon is going to help me flip through to give you a little peek inside. Let's open it up. Oh, there's our... We were using it to talk about the Leon Springs. Okay, just go to... <laughs> they don't need to see the red... 10 seconds of the red page. So here are the contents. Let's just pause there for a moment. What's that? Okay. Alright, and then... Go ahead a little bit more quickly. Okay, so what I really like about this... Just hold it still is that it's arranged um, not just by time, but each time period has the different areas all in one section. So you can see what was going on in different parts of the world at the same time. Okay, go ahead. Um, and it's got really neat illustrations. Okay, so flip through towards the more like Okay, and so then we kind of move over to Southern and Western Europe, Northern and Eastern Europe, Africa and the Middle East, Asia and the Americas. Um, and up top it tells you, you know, what the date range is. And then just kind of skip through. There's the Middle Ages, there's the 16th century, 18th century. So then here... I guess it's still arranged. So then it's Africa and India, the Far East, America and the Pacific. So the the regions change a little bit as you go along. And then we get the to 20th the 20th century. century. Mm -hmm. um, which is pretty interesting. In, in the 20th century, it's arranged um, mainly by continent. So Europe, Africa and the Middle East, Asia, and then America and Australasia. So... Um, the parts around Australia, I guess. So there's a lot of really good information um, in there, and I just really like how you can be wondering when something happened and then see what else was happening in the world at that same time. I find that to be a really valuable part. And then back here it tells you who was prime minister and president in the different and years. And and there's a glossary. Lord and right, and then there's rulers, kings, things like that. Um, and then there's um, internet links in the back as well to find out more information. And a very detailed index. So if you had a particular incident in history you wanted to find out about, you would very likely find it in the index. And that was Timelines of World History. It is currently out of print. It is 19.99, or it's out of stock and it will be back on in March, I believe March 2nd.